In this video, I'll be making a circular saw attachment for dust collecting. This setup is great for indoor usage. It's a good way to keep that dust under control. He used three screws for quick assembly. Simply insert the screws, then attach the base of the saw to the dust enclosure. Fasten the screws down, and you're now ready to start ripping. Off to the right hand side of the dust collector, I added a piece of glass panel which I salvaged from a camera housing. This served no real purpose other than to look cool. And at the bottom, the screws are countersunk to prevent damage to the surface of the material. I'm using a piece of foam to fill in the gap from the top of the saw to the enclosure. And just under the saw motor, I attached a piece of wood to help contain the dust as well. Along the back, I attached a dust port for vacuum attachment. As we get into the build, I mark three screw holes, drill them out, and with the countersink bit, I open up the metal for the screw head to sit nice and flush. With the blade guard up, I carefully cut in the saw blade into a quarter inch piece of ply. This piece is used for the bottom to provide zero clearance. I traced out the shape of the saw onto the surface of the ply, then I used the table saw to cut off the unwanted edges. The first idea I got was to trace half of the bucket out onto this MDF, but turns out I get a better curve if I just sketch it by hand. Having a bandsaw really make your life a lot easier when you're cutting out any kind of shapes. I started off using a piece of MDF, but that got damaged from the vibration of the sander, so I went to plywood. As you notice, this board is no longer straight. Using the radio sander, I took off 10 degrees so that this board sits at an angle. This is to prevent the board from getting in the way of the blade guard handle. I'm using 3 quarter inch drywall screws. Anything longer may come out the side of the board. So to cover the top of the saw, I'm using hardboard because this stuff is flexible and easy to deal with. As you can notice, I cut the piece of hardboard at the same degree as I did the plywood so that this can follow the curvature of the ply. I simply attach the hardboard by just installing a few drywall screws. I install a piece of wood for the dust port, then remove the overhung hardboard. So I'm using a one inch PVC coupling for the dust port. I used a paddle bit to drill out the hole. It's a bit smaller than the actual coupling, but I plan to use my Dremel tool to open up the hole a bit more. So at this point, it barely fit, but that's exactly how I want it. I want it snugged, and I'm going to take a screw, run it into the side of that, and that's how I will support it. The one inch pipe is a bit small to fit inside the vacuum hole, so I'm using duct tape to fix this. Because I have a gap in between here, I'm going to use foam to fill this area in. I'm using this spray adhesive, which I had for like six years now, and amazingly, it still works. My intention for this caulk is to prevent any sawdust from hiding in the cracks. This insert was a bit tricky to make and I could not make it without my contour guide. If you don't have one of these, I would suggest you get one. Links in the description. This piece is attached to the base with the same 3 quarter inch screws. So as I stated before, this piece is non-functional but I still like the way it look and I think it make it stand out.
So I think it's a good idea to show exactly how messy this saw can be in a real environment versus the big change I've made by adding the dust collection portion onto this saw. So at this point, I'm pretty satisfied with how it worked. I'm going to give it a quick sand and just throw some black paint on this and I'm gonna call this one done. Glenn with DIY Creators, thanks for watching. If you find this project helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them down in the comment and hit the subscribe button for more content like this. And until next time, I will catch you on the next one.